Okay. Hey, Jose. So you have some questions. You want to you want to ask me your questions? Yeah. So I I, I just want to know why you. So you're like when I ask the questions, you're like. You always said sexist. Oh, you're like that's a, that's a sexist guy who has to be saying those questions. Why is that? All right. Well, sorry, what was the question? There was no sound. Okay, so when I was asking the previous question, you were like, you're assuming that like guys who ask these questions are sexist. So why why is that? Oh, because I know the language, I know the lingo, and I know the questions they typically ask, and you were very uh -huh. typical in in that questioning and, and the follow-ups that you were asking. Um, these are very typical of guys who go on chat boards where they talk about women and how terrible women are and how women are, you know, always looking for money and everything is about what they can get and you should never marry a woman because it's always a loss for men. Um, you know, court systems favor women all the time. Everything is so unfair towards men. But there's some truth to that. Wouldn't you say that the court systems do for the most part favor women? So uh, the studies that you're looking at are not oh. actual studies. You're, you're looking at things that people wrote and then posted, but it's not the actual sociology of what actually happens. Mm. But what about like 90% um, of alimony going to the woman or women initiating like 70% yeah, of divorce. I'm not, not going to go into these kinds of stats. And because, because again, this is information that you're getting off of these uh, chat rooms that aren't actually based in fact. They're, it's, it's created by people who have a bias against women. Okay. And so what, what do you think is the best way to go about a relationship? Because you're saying these guys are saying, oh, you shouldn't get married. Uh, it, it, it's a trap. And you're saying that it's not. So are you suggesting that if you're with a partner, long-term partner, it's, you're, you ought to get married? Is that what you're suggesting? I don't think people need to get married in order to have a happy, committed, long-term relationship. Some people do want to get married because for them it hits different. Um, I have nothing against prenups, but you should not marry somebody who is unfair. So a prenup always needs to be fair to both parties. It's not mm -hmm. just about protecting yourself. It's about, you know, taking into account the long-term sacrifices both people make in the relationship. Yeah. Oh, okay. And um, so when I joined in, you're, you're t I didn't get to hear everything you were saying, but you were talking about like, uh, dating something about like three months can you explain that yeah. no kissing for three months there's no kissing no sex no sleepovers no exclusivity for three months minimum oh okay why because it doesn't make sense to be kissing and having sex with somebody and then finding out who they are because what i find out might be that they're a piece of shit and so i'm emotionally involved with a piece of shit which makes it more difficult for me to extract myself from the situation because it's gone beyond just getting to know each other, which is mm -hmm. easy to walk away from when I find out somebody's a piece of shit, when I'm just getting to know them because I just say, this isn't working for me, have a great life. But if I'm kissing and having sex and I'm emotionally involved, then yeah. it's a breakup to leave a piece of shit and that hurts. Breakups always hurt. Okay, but do you... Because sometimes uh, people go on, on just a couple of dates and the relationship ends up working out. So would you say those are like outliers or like? What, it's what, it's what luck it? or intuition. I never discount luck or intuition, but there are people who aren't lucky or don't have good intuition. And so they keep choosing the wrong partner over and over and over and over and over. And uh -huh. so they need to break the pattern of choosing the wrong partner. In order to get a different outcome, you need to use a different behavior. So instead of relying on luck or intuition, which hasn't been working for them, then they can now use knowledge and insight. So that's what's gained during those three months is knowledge and insight on the other person. Okay. And um, as for, oh, I have a question about open relationships. Uh, what, what are your thoughts about that? 
I have no opinion on what consenting adults do that make them happy. So open, polyamorous, swingers, whatever they want to uh, do, if they're happy and consenting, it's none of my business. Okay, and you and I asked you a question about like uh, a person's past. You, you said it doesn't matter. Um, right. But w what if um, I'm not religious, but let's just say I am. Let's just say I'm a Christian, and in the Christian faith, you purity is very important, right? Um, you're supposed to stay pure until marriage. And let's just say your partner ends up lying. Um, w wouldn't you see that that can be a problem? That like she doesn't disclose yeah. her past? It's, it's a huge problem that she didn't feel safe to tell the truth because your conditioning made her feel like you were going to judge her on it. That's absolutely a problem. No, no. How is that a problem? But she's the one that's that I'm not. She's the one that would be lying about her past. Yeah. Yes. She should. She should not be around somebody she doesn't feel safe to tell the truth to. Hundred percent. So she shouldn't be Christian then. Wait a sec. She. Who's the Christian one? You or her? No, both of us. Oh, you're both Christian, but she's had sex with people. Yeah, because I hear all the time like Christians, okay. like let's be honest here, like. The, we, People that go to church, like most of them, like lose their virginity before marriage. Mm -hmm. But like, that's what I'm saying. Like in the Christian faith, you're supposed to stay pure until marriage. Right. So if let's just say I'm a devout Christian mm -hmm. and I'm like very, very uh, strict Christian, but she, she lies yeah. that she's like me. Like yeah. would, you, you would say that's a problem, right? It's it's a problem. Yes, Pure, purity culture is a huge problem. It it creates um, it creates more sexuality. People who are educated when it comes to sex and feel like sex is something that uh, you you choose and it's okay to choose it and there's a safe way to do it. Those people actually have less sex. They wait longer before having sex. And people who are taught abstinence in purity culture and sex mm -hmm. is bad before marriage, they have sex earlier and they have more unsafe sex. So uh, the problem isn't you or it isn't her. The problem is the culture that the two of you grew up in. So she shouldn't need to lie about her sexual history because there's nothing wrong with her sexual history. So the culture both of you grew up in made her feel it unsafe to tell the truth and made you judge her on her sexuality. Yeah, that, that's one of the reasons I'm not religious at all. Um, yeah. And you said you're, uh, you're, you're a dating coach, right? Yes. And you date, you coach prime or like, what are your demographics? Like um, just women, men, women, or... Uh, so 80% of my audience is women and the ages range from honestly 16 uh, into the 80s. And like, how, how do you coach them? Like, what, like, let's say I come to you and um, I say, okay, I need help with my relationship. It's not working out. Um, like, how would you go about it? Like, what, what do you do? Uh, so if you're in a relationship, the first thing I would try to figure out is have you chosen a selfish short-term thinker or a generous long-term thinker? There are 12 character traits that help you understand the difference because you might be coming to me saying, I want to make my relationship better. But me wow. as a coach, I first want to make sure you've chosen the right partner. Before I teach you how to improve something, I need to make sure the person you chose is worth improving with. Because if you're trying to do the right things with the wrong person, you never get the right relationship because negative and plus doesn't, equal plus plus you need plus and plus to make plus plus so plus is choosing the right partner and then doing the right behaviors and that's how you get the best relationship but choosing the wrong partner and trying to do the right behaviors doesn't get you a good relationship yeah so d d would you say attraction is mutual so in the sense that like what men find attractive in women is the same what women find attractive in men no, we are different. We're built different. Like if you look uh -huh. at our outside, we look different. If you look at our chemical makeup, we're different that way. Testosterone, estrogen. If you look at our brain structure, that's different. Our thought patterns when they're mapped out, those are different as well. So we are quite different. Um, I'm very attracted to my husband's hands. I doubt my husband looks at my hands and goes, ooh, so sexy. So... Mm. Uh, Right? There, there are yeah. different things that are going to attract us to the other person. But there are also things that will be similar that will attract us. Like 
humor, right? Women are very turned on by men who have a similar sense of humor. Yeah, I would agree with that. And what what about like security? Do you think men value security as much as women? Both, very much, yes. Yeah. Oh, on that, I would have to disagree. Oh, who do you think values security more? I would say... I'd say men, I would say, this is what I have to say. The more money a guy makes, the less he cares. So like, for example, Jeff Bezos, this is an extreme example, but I doubt he's going to care if you're making $300,000 as a surgeon, as opposed to 50 K as an elementary school teacher. Right. But isn't he still looking for emotional security? No, when I said security, I was um, talking about like financial security. Oh, got it. Um, yeah. Okay. So, uh, so who values financial security more, men or women? Yeah. Um, hmm. Do men value financial security as much as women do? Here's the thing. So I, I, you know, men and guys, right? Selfish short-term thinkers versus generous long-term thinkers. So, Mm -hmm. um, men value women who are like them, ambitious, responsible, long-term thinkers, work ethic. Um, yeah. that, my man is, is like that. And that's what he mm-hmm. loved about me. Like I asked him, maybe what was it about me that was the hook for you? And he said, you're ambitious, you're driven, you're motivated. That defines my husband to a T. Yeah, that's nice. That's good to hear. But w- what I'm trying to get at is that the, 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 it's very different in terms of um our attractiveness per se here's the thing jose jose Uh jose i get so many women who come to me who have deadbeat guys deadbeat guys but they're attracted to them they don't want to leave them they love them explain do those do those relationships last are they married do they have kids not on my not on my watch not on my watch. Well, yeah, because exactly. The They're not going to marry a guy who doesn't provide them financial security. No, she shouldn't. She should yeah, not. I 100% agree. He, he needs to be, he needs to have work ethic. He needs to be responsible and he needs yeah, to be 100%. financially responsible. Yeah. So, so you would agree with me that a uh, woman value financial security more than men? Because like often, t- for example, let's, because I, I always see like men, like, that make a lot of money, they wouldn't mind dating like that cute bartender. Like I rarely see like women doing that, like, like a CEO I going to McDonald's. Lots of women doing that, lots. Because you're not on this end. You're listen. M- my friends are females. I got lots of female friends, and yeah. and I see them way too often picking up the deadbeat guy. I know. So my question is. The answer to that, it doesn't last. Like relationships like that don't last. No, because financial irresponsibility causes a lot of fights. Yeah, exactly. So, which is why, like, for a successful relationship, women value financial security. Both do. Both, both do. If he's, my husband is smart. He values me because I'm financially responsible and I make money. I was making a hundred grand a year when he met me. Yeah, but I always see like, like you see all the time with like, um, like uh, the top percent of earners, like let's just say, like NBA athletes. We see like these women dating them, getting divorced, and then they take all their money. Well, not all, but they take like their their investments, ch- child support, like some real estate properties. Like, you see that happen all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that's unfair? No, I'm just trying to, like, prove my point that, like, women go for guys. Now, I'm not saying all. That's a generalization. But more often than men, women do that. Uh, I, I I just don't see it that much on this end as a professional. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so attraction. So I talked about like financial security. What about like um, physical attributes? 
do you think it's like uh, symmetrical? Do you think women value physical attributes just as much as men? It's coded into our DNA to look yeah. for symmetry. Um, symmetry equals strength. If you think of a bridge and the triangles that make the bridge, the symmetry makes the bridge strong enough for all of these cars to go over it day after day after day. That's coded into our DNA to seek that out and be attracted to it and want to be with that. Because if we have strong DNA and we mate with strong DNA, we create a baby with strong DNA. It's all about the survival of the species. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Um, so I have another question regarding like, um, where, where do you live? Do you live in, you're in Canada, right? Oh, so I don't know how the laws are, divorce laws there work. Um, I mean, I'm 18. I haven't been married, but um, uh, there are a lot of cases where guys end up getting divorced and they're not in the wrong. Like, let's just say their spouse cheated on them and they get like their house taken away from them, their children taken away from them. Do, do you think there should be new changes regarding the law? Do you think there's the system in the United States is wrong? Why would somebody take their children away if they're a good parent? Th that happens a lot of the time here in the United States. The women get child custody, even so if the man wasn't thing. wrong. In the United States, you can divorce without lawyers. You can arrange visitation without lawyers. So if the person is a good father, there's no reason for the mom to want to limit their visitation to the child. If a judge gets involved because of the fighting between the couple and they're not able to come to any kind of agreement, then the judge makes the decisions based on the facts that are presented. So I come back to the question, why would a man not be allowed to see his children? I know, I'm just saying like the, 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 the because in some states, it's 50-50 regardless who's in the wrong. I think, the, like, let's say if I had a spouse and she cheated, I think I should get 100% of the child custody. Okay, so do we need to get into the reason why she cheated? Uh, yeah, it, yeah. That would be interesting, yeah. That would be interesting. So um, where is the satisfaction from? Maybe off, a lot of the reason is... Um, and you I fell out of love with you or the relationship. you should be able to take her kids away. So she's not satisfied with the relationship. So she goes outside of the relationship for whatever reason. Maybe she's selfish. Maybe she's insecure. Uh -huh. um, maybe she's using people the way some people use uh, substances as a numbing agent, you know, drugs, yeah. alcohol or people. Um, but you think because of that, her children should be taken away. So do you think every guy that cheats, because statistically men cheat just as much as women. Yeah. So do you think if a man cheats, that's the reason why his children should be taken away? <laughs> Well, what I'm just trying to say is that the, 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 the cheaters shouldn't have priority. That's just what I'm really trying to get down to. So the cheaters should have their children taken away. So men and women, if they cheat, that's it. No more. They can't see their kids anymore. No, not necessarily. If, if, I, if it sounded that way, I didn't mean it to say it that way. I'm just saying in some okay. states, no matter the reason, the default is 50-50. And that I disagree with. Right. Yeah. So, that, so yeah. Okay. Um, and so I want to go back to the, uh, two, you said two to three months, right? Before like any intercourse or kissing. Three, no less. Okay. So I, do, what do you say? Oftentimes women go on dates with intention not to get with the guy or like actually get to know him, but just to like leverage like sex to get free food. You're in those chat groups way too much, my friend. You really need to get out of there. And you said you're 18? Yeah. You need to get out of those chat groups, my love. They are fucking up your brain. I'm serious. There are amazing people out there, but you're not learning about that when you're in these chat groups. Um, what so, chat group? You keep referring to chat. I don't know. Where, wherever you're hearing this, wherever you're hearing this, wherever you're hearing this, wherever you're hearing this, all this yeah. stuff that you're 
doing here, I'm familiar with it because I'm familiar ah. with the groups, the men going their own way, the red pill people, um, right? I'm familiar, incels, whatever you want to call well, it. Well, like, I'm just asking I'm a question and dialogue. you keep like attack, like you keep falling it's back to like ad hominem attacks. You, like, I, know, I know these questions. I see them in those groups one after another, exactly how you're laying it out, exactly how you're laying it out. I know where you've been. So, are women leveraging sexuality for meals? No, girls are. Selfish short-term thinkers are doing that. Uh, are guys saying they want a relationship when all they want is sex and leading us on? Yes, they are. Are men doing that? No. Are women leveraging sexuality for meals? No. But like, I, I, feel, I feel like your advice, it's... It, it favors women, not men, because men, we're not going it's on dates. Time. It's about fucking time because the dating trend today favors selfish short term fingers because it has us kissing and having sex before we even know you. Well I'm to sorry, but, but but the dating scene like, you know, like men, like, you know how many DMs the average girl gets on Instagram? Uh huh. And dick pics. Isn't that fun? Yeah, so the, the women are winning. Like fun? women are a hundred percent. Can you acknowledge winning. how fun it is to be a woman in this world? Yeah, it, it's disgusting. Like it's how disgusting. much? Yeah, it really is. And all I'm trying to say is, like, your advice um, it's favoring women, not men. Because, yes. like, no, as a man, oh. like, it doesn't favor most guys. guys aren't going on dates. Just like a guy. I'm gonna be blunt with you. A guy's going on a date, and if he can get some um if you get if you can get to sleep with that girl that's a win yeah. for him women of aren't course. thinking like that women aren't thinking like that any means possible including yeah. lying and that's why we use a no kissing for three months dating rule because the liars are going to walk away and look for the easy prey and we're not going to be easy prey anymore yeah so we can agree that on the first date a woman and man's intentions are different uh so we women right and there's girls there are selfish short-term thinkers girls and guys and there's generous long-term thinkers men and women as women in other words as people who are looking for a relationship we need to make sure that we're going to kiss and have sex with the person who wants a relationship with us not the one who's lying about it okay so can you agree with me that some women in your case girls go girls. on Okay, so yeah, men. Yes. Okay, that's oh, yeah. why you should use a no kissing for three months dating rule. Why? So you don't get taken advantage of. Taken advantage of what? Like by girls. I, I don't. I like most guys. Like you're just speaking for women. Like most guys no, don't want to go on a, three months worth of dates just for a kiss. Like, like exactly. It, we yeah exactly. That's the whole. Point. So that's we what I'm trying to, to say. Your, your advice favors women. and It, it favors yeah, women who a, want men. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, if you're a woman, listen to this coach. Like, if you're a woman, you should absolutely listen to this coach. Because she knows how to take advantage of, like, the advantages you inherently have as a woman. So if you're a woman, you should 100% listen to this. But as a said, guy, like, it's it's complete opposite. I'm sorry. As a yeah. guy, we shouldn't I wait know. three months. That's it. That's exactly why we are using the no kissing for three months dating rule, Jose. We want to let you talk. We don't want to occupy your mouth with our mouths. We need to hear how you think and feel. And so when you say three months is too long, there's no way I'm waiting for that. We need to hear that because we need to know who's a short term thinker versus a long term thinker. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm curious. That's why I asked you like what your demographics were. And you said it's like 50 50, right? Both. I no, you said eighty percent. Said eighty percent of my okay. audience is female. All right, and like the men, like what type of the? How old are they? Like what are their op occupations? Like, uh, like, can you see the? Can you see the comments that are scrolling here? I can see the comments. Yeah. Okay, so I know I have some men here. Um, men, how old are you? Yeah. I did see, I saw, I saw. No, but like not, not on TikTok. Oh, wait, you coach through TikTok? Or? 20, 26. Yeah, 26, 36. Oh, I so, thought you had like a, like a. So, okay. 
24. There's Roland, 24. Meta Rocket is 26. Um, Game Devox, 36. Uh, Andrew is 42. Uh, Flutter Butterfly, she just did the no kissing for three months dating rule. The man uh, she's now seeing is 20. He waited three months for a first kiss. So someone here says, my sons are 29 and 25. They both love me, my advice. Jada, thank yeah. you. So all ages from what you can see, right? Wait, we're at 34. Here's a 34-year-old. Yeah, but I would say it's a bit, it's not, I wouldn't say biased, but I wouldn't say it's an accurate rep. Because if, if you were, to, if a bunch of frat guys were to go on here, they would say otherwise, let's be honest. Of course. So, do, do we do? Do you think? We yeah. So that's why I'm saying this, this. This. These. No. I'm just. I'm not. I'm just trying to say, if it would be more accurate if you can get like the entire U.S. Pop population. But obviously, that's not possible. So that's I what I'm saying. It's a bit biased. Understand. My advice is about narrowing the alley down so that a select few can get through. We don't want all the guys we don't want the frat guys we don't want no the I, i'm not saying here. no 100 girls don't want frat guys they're the last things okay. they want i'm just saying uh, re regarding the the accuracy of the poll regarding the, the men but i feel like it's a bit skewed because you said some of her sons agreed with you that may be a bit biased because the mother may agree with you so there may be some confirmation bias there Okay, we're asking my followers how old they are because you're wondering what the age range was of the men who listened to me. I know, but that's because I, I thought like you, so your your practice is through TikTok. Uh, my practice, oh, 32, there we go. My practice is through TikTok. Yeah, so like do you have where, like... Uh, I reach people, yes, I reach people through TikTok. Okay, because I don't think most got because this was just on my for you page. This was completely ran, yeah. and I, I yeah. So I so I wouldn't say like this would be on most guys' for you page, and so anyway, on to the next topic. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, what are your thoughts on like um a nuclear family, like um uh a, a guy going out to work. And the woman being traditional and staying at home, taking care of the kids, etc. I think uh, uh, people can negotiate whatever makes them happy. Oh, that's nice. And if you don't mind asking, like, is that how it works in your relationship? Or are you? So, yeah, huh. this one is very traditional. My husband is Mexican Mennonite. Um he he grew up in a very you know dad works mom's a stay-at-home mom kind of yeah. environment that's how he raised his kids um uh he he pays the bills i take care of the household my husband works 80 to 100 hours a week 80 wow. to 100 hours a week so it's easier for him to pay the bills which is why we have this arrangement in my previous marriage we did everything 50 50 but yeah. this man that I'm with owns his own business and works very long, hard hours. And nice. so I accommodate what he needs. He needs to have things easy. So he pays the bills because that's easier for him. And I take care of him. Okay. And I want to go back to the, the, about the past, about a person's past. You said it doesn't matter. Yeah. I think it does. Okay. Um, like I, I talked about being religious. I'm not religious, but I want to give you like another example. Let's just say you're a political figure and then you, you, you meet this woman. She's nice. She checks off all the check boxes. She's nice personality, good lifestyle, morals. It may seem like that, but in her past, she was, um, an adult film star or like uh, an adult dancer and whatever's on the internet is on the internet forever and as a political figure i don't think it would be in your best interest to be associated with the woman with that past because it can negatively affect like your reputation your, and your credibility so in that sense I, I i do feel like it's important well didn't melania do like a nude photo shoot melania yeah oh i wasn't aware of that yeah yeah, I don't think most people are aware of that. 
else to do your homework. Yeah, but you get what I'm trying to say, though, right? No, but everybody knew about that. Everybody who read the news knew about that. So that didn't affect anything. So what does body count affect? Well, body count isn't... Uh, Her naked I... body is on the internet. The mm -hmm. last president of the United States wife's naked body is on the internet. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay. But it wouldn't concern you there's, if... There's like, your you're... answer. But it wouldn't concern That's you if your partner had, like, a body count. This is just hypothetical. But I'm just trying to, like... Okay. So, let's just say your uh, partner had a body count of, like, 500. That wouldn't concern you? Um... Who are they? That's I think that's the more important question is who yeah. are they? Not uh -huh. what did they do is is who are they? Because sexuality, I don't know if you know this, but the human body is designed with a lot of nerve endings and those nerve uh -huh. endings give you pleasure. And so the, the human body is designed for pleasure and there's nothing wrong with exploring the pleasure your human body can experience. Okay. But you still didn't really answer the question though. Would you, would you even bother giving this guy a chance? If the, you knew? the answer is the way I gauge a person is based on who they are. Wait, hold up. Someone asked me about, what about men with high body counts? Yeah. It's based on who they are. Who are yeah. But to be are, fair, look, I, it is a double And, and by the way, like, having sex uh -huh. with people doesn't reduce your integrity or character it means you have fun with this body yeah 100 percent. but i'll admit okay. it is a double yes yeah, huge double standard huge double standard how they treat you luna yes indeed how they treat you is very important who they are who they are who can, you know, so what? What's your name? Jose, Jose. Oh, Jose, did we talk before? Yeah, we did. And so, um, yeah, I was doing some research and because I previously I mentioned how, like, how body count matters and you said it doesn't and it actually it does. It matters to you. Pardon? It matters to you. No, women are actually more likely to get divorced the higher body count is. Okay, so it matters to you? Well, yeah, to me, because I'm basing it off facts. Uh, you're basing it off something that you read off the internet? Yeah, off of a peer-reviewed published study. Okay, so it's important to you. It's not important to my husband, just so you know. But wouldn't you say men going into a relationship seeking marriage? Wouldn't you say that's an important thing to consider? No, not, to men, not to men, my love. Not to men. To guys, yes. But to men, no. You're just playing semantics. Men, guys. No, I'm really not. I'm making a comparison between uh, confident people and people who lack confidence. So you're saying a woman with a body count of 500... That's not a red flag? No. No? So what no. about what about a woman who, uh, with the promiscuous past, like um, an adult film star or a, a dancer? That, yeah. That's No? No. Wouldn't you say these jobs, um, wouldn't you say women going to these jobs have certain characteristics that aren't suitable for long-term relationships? I used to be a stripper. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, see, look at that. Look at that. I'm unsuitable to you, Jose, but that's okay because you are unsuitable to me. Well, you don't have kids for a reason. Nobody wanted to wipe you up when you were in the No. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you got to go because you know, you're one of that's those. That's why you don't have I, any. I remember, I remember you're one of those. You're one of those. Um, you are one of those, right, Jose? Remember? We talked about you getting off those websites. We talked about you getting off those chat 
places where people are using those terms the red pill uh what's 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 that what's that word that they use for for what, what they call women females right so there's a, there's a specific language they call women females um and and the hypergamy right that's one of the words that they use so um so jose come come comment again come say something again um Comes, oh, so he right? Okay, so you got to go too um, because, because we're not here for you, right? We're not here to give you a platform. We're not here to give sexist, closed-minded people a platform. We're not here for that. So good, 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 good. I'm glad. Mods, I saw you do that. Thank you. I was looking for that. Um, so we're not here for sexist guys. We're not here for the red pill guys. We're not here to give you a voice. We're here to avoid you. We don't want you. We're not here for you. We use a no kissing for three months dating rule so that we give you enough time to talk so we see who you are and we don't pick you. That's important to us to not pick people like you. So I'm not here for closed minded people. I'm not here for the red pillars. I'm not here for those. I'm here for people who are open-minded and intelligent and want to have an actual conversation about learning something. But you're not here to learn. You're here to be one of those guys. So we don't entertain you. I'm sorry. We don't entertain you here. You don't get a voice here. Go make your own platform. Go have your own conversations. But we don't entertain this here. <laughs> 